Hello, and welcome back to Educator.com. In this mini lesson, we're going to work through page one of the A Plus Physics Worksheet on Electric Circuits, and you can find the link to that down below the video. So with that, let's dive right in. Number one, what is the current through a wire if 240 coulombs of charge pass through the wire in two minutes? Well, current is going to be charge divided by time, or 240 coulombs, over our time, two minutes is 120 seconds, which is going to be just two amps. So our correct In five seconds. Well, let's figure out the charge first. Charge is current times time, so that will be 5 times 10 to the minus 5 amperes times our time, 5 seconds, which is 25 times 10 to the minus 5 coulombs. But we want to know electrons, so let's convert coulombs into elementary charges. Multiply that by one elementary charge, 1 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs. And when I divide there, I'm going to come up with a charge equal to about 1.6 times 10 to the 15 elementary charges, or 1.6 times 10 to the 15 electrons. Correct answer there must be 3. Problem 4. Charge flowing at the rate of 2.5 times 10 to the 16 elementary charges per second is equal to a current of? Well, let's first change those elementary charges into coulombs. So we could say that current is charge over time, so that's going to be 2.5 times 10 to the 16 elementary charges divided by one second times, we want elementary charges to go away, we want coulombs, and one elementary charge is 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs. So when I multiply that out, I'm going to come up with about 0 0.004 amps, or 4 times 10 to the minus 3 amps, which is answer number 3. All right, on to problem number 5. The current through a light bulb is 2 amperes. How many coulombs of electric charge pass through the light bulb in one minute? Well, charge is current times time, which will be 2 amperes times 1 minute is 60 seconds, or 120 coulombs. Answer number 3. On to number 6. If 10 coulombs of charge are transferred through an electric circuit in 5 seconds, then the current in the circuit is? Well, current is charge divided by time, so that will be 10 coulombs divided by 5 seconds, or just 2 amperes. Correct answer there, number two. Moving on to number seven. A charge of 30 coulombs passes through a 24 ohm resistor in six seconds. What is the current through the resistor? Well, current is charge divided by time again. 30 coulombs over six seconds is just going to be five amperes. Correct answer, number two. Number eight. 
The diagram below shows two resistors, R1 and R2, connected in parallel in a circuit having a 120 volt power source. Resistor R1 develops 150 watts and R2 develops an unknown power. Ammeter A in the circuit reads 0.5 ampere. Find the amount of charge passing through resistor R2 down there in 60 seconds. Well, the key here is if this ampere reads 0.5 amps, then that must be the current through R2. So we know current through R2. We also know the time we should be able to find charge. Q equals IT, which is 0.5 amperes times our time of 60 seconds, or just 30 coulombs for our answer. All right, one more. What is the current in a wire if 3.4 times 10 to the 19 electrons pass by a point in this wire every 60 seconds? Well, our current is going to be charge divided by time, which is 3.4 times 10 to the minus 19 elementary charges every 60 seconds, but we need to convert those elementary charges to coulombs. And I know that one elementary charge is 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs, so my elementary charges will make a ratio of 1. And I'm going to determine that I have a current then of right around 0 0.091 amperes, or 9.1 times 10 to the minus 2 amperes. Correct answer there, number 3. All right, that completes, page, that completes page one of the worksheet. If this went great, excellent, you're probably ready for AP level problems. If it didn't go so well, now would be a great time to go back and review the lesson about electric current. Thanks for your time, everyone, and make it a great day.